Hey, yo. T-King Fight News. Lamar Jackson will have to sit out the final game of the NFL season. Week 17 is coming up, and Lamar Jackson is going to be readying for the playoffs. He will not be starting against a Pittsburgh Steeler come Sunday afternoon. It's E-King Fight News. And we got more on this. All right, salute. Everybody tuning in, man. Much love. I got to say, for the Pittsburgh Steelers, they have one last shot. They got one last chance to get into the playoffs. But in my opinion... I don't even know if it's going to happen, man. Because as long as Tennessee can take out Houston, who will be resting their starters, with Tannehill playing the way he's been playing, he didn't play a bad game against New Orleans. They damn near got New Orleans. You know, if it wasn't for how great Drew Brees is, and there was a lot of motivation for him to Help Michael Thomas break that uh, single season record for pass completions. You know, I think that was a big key to victory because Michael Thomas went off in that game. Drew Brees went off in that game. And once he got a hold um, of that Tennessee defense, once he sort of figured it out, it was a wrap from there on in. Drew Brees could not be stopped. And... Tennessee's got a much lighter team in front of them, a Houston Texans team that gave up a whole lot of yards against Tampa Bay. They gave up a whole lot, and they're going to be resting their starters. So Tannehill in a must-win situation. I think they beat the Houston Texans. I think Pittsburgh's chances are slim to none to get in, and they got all their hopes resting on Duck, Delvin Hodges, Duck Delvin Hodges, who had a terrible past two games, right? He he got he literally got benched against the Jets, against the New York Football Jets. Delvin Hodges threw an interception, damn near right right in the red zone. They had to put in Mason Rudolph, the guy that got his ass beat by Miles Garrett. They put him back in there. That shit didn't work out for him. Mason Rudolph gets injured. They put Duck Hodges back in the game. And he still couldn't beat the Jets, man. In a one possession game. Anyways, the news is Lamar Jackson will be sitting out. Which means Robert Griffin III. RG3. Robert Griffin III. RG3. Will be starting quarterback and you know what the the Baltimore Ravens are not that bad with RG3 they're not they're still a solid team and with RG3 man he can throw the deep ball man he can he can he can make some moves he you know they even they they use Robert Griffin for all the fourth down fourth down fourth and ones fourth and twos they use RG3 in all those plays most of the time so he still gets reps, right? Even though if you call him a gimmick quarterback, call him whatever you want. But he still gets half the time Lamar Jackson is done by the fourth quarter and they, they put in RG3, so he gets his reps. Ain't like, ain't like he's been sitting down for, for the past year or so. So hey, RG3, can, they can win that game. They can win that game outright. I don't even think, I don't see Pittsburgh winning that last game, let alone making the playoffs. I don't see it. I don't see it. And that's just my thoughts, man. The soon-to-be MVP, Lamar Jackson, sitting out for for the Baltimore Ravens. Um, enter RG3 for Week 17. What do you guys think about that? I know. I think the betting line is uh, Ravens minus one. I think the Ravens win the game. I think the Ravens continue to go on a tear. They got home field locked up. I know it's, it's quote-unquote must-win, but that's what it was for Pittsburgh against the New York Jets. And they, they didn't even show up for a must-win. So what do you expect? Are they going to be at home? That's my only question. Are they going to be on the road in Baltimore? Let me know what you guys think. It's EK Fight News, NFL content. You know what it is, man. You can, 
You can't fight news. And I'm signing out, man. Peace.